Well, good evening to you wherever you are in the world. We are just about ready for the action here. Kickoff is imminent. The teams indeed with us very soon, having exchanged their various pleasantries. What I have to tell you is that the weather may not be great for the duration of the evening. Clouds yet to open, but one suspects that they will pretty shortly. And when the rain comes, we are warned to expect plenty of it. This is, of course, the Camp Nou, one of the best-known, perhaps the best-known of all the venues in European football. The national anthem of Argentina rings out. We stand for the national anthem of France. game this between two very high quality sides a treat for everybody here well oh, get ready for some high grade football peter two strong teams as you say full of wonderful individual talent and we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football as to whether we'll see a high scoring contest that's a little harder to predict i'm not complaining though because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface and that's a fine start in itself So off we go then. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Ankel Di Maria. Uh, he has an awful lot going for him. A, a good dribbler, a very good crosser, a marvellous free kick taker, and a range of passing that most midfielders would be proud of. And he could play a prominent part. And he would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. Rafael Varane. Pogba. And it's Mandy. Driving on a real charge here. And it's hoisted clear. Conte. Over to the left. There's been quite a few crosses coming in from that left-hand side. Mendy clearly looking the key component now with the concentration on with. Well, the defence have two choices, deal with the man or, or deal with the space. Conte. Dybala. No efforts on target is acceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good, and they're not. Now it's Iquain. And Iquain! That comes as a mighty relief. Dybala, Vanega, and it's Higuain, it's a loose ball, back to the keeper and try something new, it's a very good battle there, terrific to watch, 
Lamar goes hurtling down that left hand side. And Titi. And that's one way to annoy his teammates. Di Maria. Mercado. Dybala. Mascherano. Mercado. Benigno. That is going to be the final action of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Some first half thoughts. Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. Well, after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. Just back from your break, missed very little of the resumption of the second half. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take Bilya with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. defending and preventing him turning which can open up many possibilities to throw in and it's Griezmann Giroud Salvia Higuain, dashing forward at pace, Salvio, oh great defending, that needed doing, Salvio showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball but couldn't quite sort it out, nicely controlled, fired in from distance, Fence has got rid of that, They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Moran pushes it out wide. And it's Sidibe. Mbappe trying to run onto it. And he just whacks it away. Sidibe. Mbappe, delivery from Mbappe. Oh, stitch defending, but that'll do. Conte, Rafael Varan tries to get it forward quickly. As scoreless games go, I'd be happy to see this one carry on a bit longer because it's had great honesty and hard work and total commitment. As for a possible winner, I'm still not predicting. If we're going to get a winner, it's got to come there. Spain. Timely intervention. Argentina showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling... And that's it. A frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge. And it has finished goalless. Your reflections then Jim France can always take more positives from a result like this yes there is some tidying up to do but some real promise too well that's it for tonight's match so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening